So I told you this wreath was very easy to make and it's true there's just a couple of steps that you have to get down and then you're going to do the same um, thing throughout the whole wreath. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with one of the, the reams of the ribbon to so fold your ribbon in half. You're going to take six to eight inches of the wire and you're going to just pick one of the inside rings of the wire wreath form and you're going to just attach the ribbon to the wire wreath form. So just stick the wire in there and then wrap it around. So I like to wrap it a couple times at least to make sure you have a nice snug attachment. So now you're ready to get started on the wreath making. So the basic steps you're going to take are to feed the ribbon into each of the sections of the wire wreath. So I'm going to start by getting my ribbon in the first section. Just pull it through four to five inches about in each of the sections so that you have three sections of the ribbon. Can you see that pretty well? So once you've done that, filled each of the sections, your next step is to be to, gonna be to turn the wreath over and just twist the ribbon two times maybe. And then when you come back up through the top, you want to start again filling each of the sections with the ribbon. And that's kind of the basic movement you're going to be making throughout the whole wreath. Um, once I get a couple of sections filled, so again, I filled each section with about four to five inches of the ribbon. Then I like to scrunch it together and this will give you a nice full looking ribbon wreath. And again the three sections were filled so then I'm going to come to the back and twist it a couple of times and then start again filling my sections. And you just continue repeating that throughout the whole wreath. So I'll do one more attempt at it so you can see what it looks like. And then I'll put it in fast motion until we get to the end of this roll of ribbon. And then I will show you what you do at the end of the ribbon. So again, scrunch it together, come to the back, twist it. And if you kind of untwist the back side of the ribbon as you go, that is helpful. Just beat it through the three sections again. One, <laughs> two, three and that is what you do just continue to repeat that so I'm gonna put it in fast motion to get to the end of my ribbon um, roll here and then I will show you how to attach the end of the ribbon and start on to the second roll of ribbon so let's just continue
coming to the end of this um, ribbon here. So what I like to do, I like to try to get um, the ribbon into all three sections and then tie it off at the top, but I'm running a little bit short here. So what I'm gonna do is just feed the ribbon through the first section and then I'm gonna stop it there. So once you get to the end of the roll, you'll want to take some floral wire again and attach it to the wire wreath form again. So it's the same thing. Just take six to eight inches of the wire and just attach the ribbon wherever you end up. I guess it doesn't really matter. So just go ahead and attach the end of your ribbon to the wire wreath form. Sometimes it bubbles too much in the back. You can always pull it through more in the front to get it a little bit. And once I finish filling the wreath, I do kind of go through and just make it bubble up a little bit better if there's any areas where it's uneven or not bubbling like I like it to. So now you have the first two sections of your wire wreath uh, filled up. the next roll of burlap and just start again on this interior ring here and again you just take the floral wire and wrap it around go through the ribbon a couple of times securing the ribbon to the wire wreath form just like you did initially but I'm just showing you again so again you do that, cut off any extra wire, and then just start this with the same exact looping. And when you first start a roll, it is a little awkward, but it gets a little easier once you get the hang of it. But same thing, three loops, scrunch, twist, Start back with the three loops. So to finish off the last roll, just do the exact same thing you did with the previous two. Take the floral wire and then just finish off the wreath and the only other thing I do then after I attach this last little piece of the ribbon is to go back and just kind of fluff the wreath and make it look even throughout the entire um, wreath form and then just bubble up any areas where the ribbon is being pressed down um, so that you get a really attractive looking wreath just all the way around and you want some of the times the ribbon kind of gets stuck to each other or isn't as bubbly so just go back through and fluff it up um, and that's really it that's how you make these cute little ribbon wreaths now i like to finish it off with just putting a piece of upholstery webbing on top used this one on the ribbon wreath I made on my blog and so that just is a neutral farmhouse type look but you can really make it however you want so then once you have this on your wreath then it's ready to hang it and all you have to do then is just take your hot glue gun and just glue the two pieces together and then it's ready to be hung up um, on your door, or I actually like to use an old screen in our house. I have it there for Valentine's Day and Christmas. 
um, but you can use it for any season. It's super cute um, and really, like you see in this video, pretty easy to make. But please let me know if you have any questions. Please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to keep in touch and continue crafting together. So thank you so much for being here and let me know if you have questions. I'd be happy to answer it below.